What's up, YouTube? It's Mike here, back with another video. As promised, I'm gonna do a full review on my Universal Rocks background that I got in for the 600 gallon aquarium that I'm setting up. I'm gonna give you guys kind of like the good and bad about this background. You know, some people call that art. It's crap. On shipping everything, we're gonna unbox it. So we'll get into that today. I'm also pretty much got it all set up the way I want it. So you guys will get to see that in this video today. Uh, before we get into it, I ask you to please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you like this kind of content, ring that notification bell for notifications so you can get notified when I upload new videos. And if you like the video, please like the video. Pretty excited about this. I got my roll, my background roll from Universal Rocks. Came in the mail today. It didn't take quite as long as they said it was going to. They said it was going to take four to six weeks. They didn't tell me that until after I ordered it, which I was annoyed. But it ended up only taking like two weeks, I think. So let's open it up. I'll really get an idea of what it looks like. But let's open it up and check it out. So this is the back of it, which the back of it kind of looks cool too, but I, uh, this is the intended front, which it's just kind of resembles a big rock, I guess. Um, I don't hate it. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. If I had to, uh... If I had to be honest, it's exactly what I expected, and again, I said this before in the last video, that it is not what I wanted, you know, I'd rather something a little bit more 3D, but when it all comes down to it, this is still not really even affordable for something like this. I think these are overpriced in like every way, but... Um, it's a lot more affordable than something from Aqua Decor or even something that's more 3D. And I think this looks still pretty good. So um, I dig it. I'm happy with it. I'm going to have to do some serious cutting, which is not going to be fun. But I think uh, all in all, I'm happy with it. And it's going to do the job that I need it to do. the eight foot mark and we don't even got another foot if we were to lay that down which my lolly column is in the way we get to lay it down we're not even gonna get to the nine foot mark not even getting to nine feet so not only is it not ten feet but it's not even nine feet it's the correct width though they got that right but I need ten feet not eight and a half feet or not nine feet I'll give you the benefit of the doubt with nine feet little bit of a review I've cut it to size um, but I will say a couple things about it one it is filthy like I, it has this gross dirt film all over it and I've washed my hands multiple times and now I've actually washed the the background itself multiple times but I'm still getting like a film from it so if you get one of these clean it extremely well so they're gross. I don't like it. I also don't like the way it smells. Something to keep in mind. I mean, I don't know what they're doing over there uh, at Universal Rocks, but 
I, I can't imagine whatever this film is is like safe to put in your aquarium. I mean, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but it does not smell safe and it certainly does not look safe to me. So it doesn't look like a regular dirt, like an organic dirt. Uh, well, that's one thing. Another thing is, is this was supposed to be 10 foot by four foot and it was barely even nine feet long. That kind of pisses me off, not gonna lie, because you pay for a certain length for a reason. And although this particular tank I didn't need even eight feet for, I wanted the extra piece for another tank. And now I don't really have the extra for another tank like I wanted. So I have some extra over here that I can use on really small tanks, but I wanted to be able to do at least a 55 with it, which I should have easily had enough for. And now I do not have enough for. So that kind of annoys me, um, especially because even though this is a cheap alternative to what I'd really like, this is still expensive sheet, which I think is overpriced, and it's definitely overpriced if you don't get what you pay for. So keep that in mind. Universal Rocks kind of fail on their part in a couple ways. Um, I still don't hate it, although doesn't that look like a footprint to you guys? That looks like a footprint to me. Um, so that's kind of annoying. It almost looks like a boot footprint. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not, but it sure looks like one to me. So a couple things that I don't like. Either way, I'm ranting. I'm going to try to put it up. We're going to put it over my bulkhead holes. Obviously, I had to cut those out. Um, but we're going to put it over the bulkhead holes for now. And just to see what it will look like, see if it'll stay in place enough. I'm going to try to clamp it up there if it won't stay in place on its own. Let's try it out. I don't mind the reflection and obviously I'll be buffing this front panel really nice cleaning this up but I like it I dig it this is gonna look really cool obviously it needs to be flattened out but it will have some bump outs for the bulkheads it's going to cover and then it will have two holes for the intakes um, in the back middles there um, and the I think the vents the uh, strainers, I should say, the intake strainers, should kind of hold it on a little bit better too. Because I'm not going to be able to silicone this in place due to this being acrylic. I'm going to uh, I'm going to go a different method of keeping this in place, which you guys will see come along. But for now, uh, I just wanted to kind of get it cut really close to fit. It's super easy to cut. I'll give them that, which I like. If you got a good pair of snips, it's, it cuts really easy and nice and clean. So I can easily adjust this. I obviously made it bigger than I had to on purpose. So I can just cut cut out what I don't need in the future. But I wanted a little bit of extra just so I could play around with it. That and it is not evenly cut on the edges. So I knew I needed to cut a little bigger for that purpose as well. But I dig it, this is pretty cool. I actually got this idea, well obviously I've seen uh, these types of backgrounds for years and years, but most recently I saw uh, Corey from Aquarium Co-op do this with Dean on like a 300 gallon in their new setup. They um, they actually siliconed theirs in place on an acrylic tank. I don't like the idea of doing it personally. That's why I'm choosing to not silicone this in place. I'm probably just going to let stuff and water be able to go back there and I'm not going to worry too much about it. Um, I, I think I've got a good option to keep it in place where I don't have to silicone it in. They even mentioned in that video that they that they're gonna they think they have silicone that will work for it, but we still don't know how long that's gonna hold up for them. Not something I want to depend on, and I've got a few options of how to keep this in place. I think better, so we'll move forward with that. But yeah, I saw them. I think they got like the exact same one. I don't know for sure, but I just looked on the site until I found one that I could deal with that I thought was reasonably good that I would use, and I purchased that one. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about this background. I kind of dig it. Again, pros and cons. Um, I'm not super impressed with Universal Rocks, but it is what it is. 
good enough. I am happy with the background still, so I will use it. I'll continue to move forward. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of it. I'm interested to, to hear your thoughts on it about, uh, about quality and if this is something you guys would try doing at home. to weld an acrylic sheet over these holes that the previous owner made. This is the next one I'm gonna patch. I went back and forth about whether I was gonna patch these bottom holes or not. And I decided at least I'm gonna patch this one, um, especially because it was cut so badly right there. So the guy did such a bad job drilling this hole. I'm gonna patch over it with a nice big piece of acrylic here. I've got a huge patch for it. I'm going a little overboard and it's half inch, just like the same thickness of as the uh, bottom panel here. They go really thin on the bottom panels because in theory they don't have any real pressure because they're supported evenly. So you don't really need thick acrylic. And technically I don't really need th thick acrylic to patch this, but I'm just going a little overboard with it. So half inch and I, hopefully I do a good job on this one. It's super important. But the nice thing is, is I got a flat surface. It's on the ground, so gravity's in my favor. And I can easily weld all the way around the four corners. I can weld, uh, I can use weld on 16 after I've used the weld on four underneath it to go around the outside edges. So I think I have a lot less risk with this one. So I've got one hole on the back wall kind of near the bottom here. The background is covering it right now, but you get the idea. There's a hole there on the back wall. So I'm gonna plug that one with a bulkhead here. And I couldn't find any nice flush caps for half inch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use one of these clean out caps, which are supposed to be this way, but I'm gonna use it upside down to get more of a flush, uh, flush look to it and then obviously it's going to be covered by the background so you're not going to see it and then for safety precaution i'm going to cap the back of it as well um just as a little bit of extra so i don't have to worry about having a leak from inside the bulkhead itself i just got to worry about outside the bulkhead so i'm going to i'm not even going to paint this one because again you're not going to see it because of the background so i'm just going to set this up and then we're going to put it in okay so got that installed capped in the back double capped I don't think I got any got to worry about that one leaking now the tank has three one inch bulkheads here and then three behind this section too and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cap the middle one but then the two outers here I'm going to use as returns for my Ultima so I'll have four one inch returns for the Ultima and then this one you won't see at all and the way I'm gonna do the returns is really simple. I'm gonna screw this into the bulkhead and then this will be my, my return nozzle itself so I can kind of direct the flow. Nothing fancy but cheap and easy and uh, gets the job done. The problem is those are existing holes so I'm trying to utilize existing size holes and they don't make one inch return nozzles. I would have to uh, reduce these to three-quarter which can be done but then you're reducing the amount of water 
out of the Ultima and I don't want to reduce the amount of water so we're stuck using one inch returns so I kind of got to make my own thing. I looked and looked and looked to see if I could find actual return nozzles made for one inch and I cannot find them so this is what I'm doing. Here's the first one made. I've got a bunch of these to make and I'm going to paint them all black so they will blend in real nice. So I painted these outside, but then I brought them in just to dry. Just to get an idea. I'm just using a fitting here to hold this one and then pliers and whatever I could think of to hold the other ones so they can dry. Wasn't too worried about the threads as the threads aren't gonna show much, but um, the, the ends of the, the threads might show a little bit. So I did wanna paint them. And again, this is safe paint um, for aquariums once it's dried. All four of these are done and dried. <clears throat> I gotta do a little touch up on that actually. I'm not sure what happened there. It kinda sucks, it's kind of annoying. And this is like the perfect size to drill holes in the background for those. So I'm gonna drill the holes and put these in. I put the background up against those bulkheads and then I marked the holes from the outside in so I could drill these as accurate as possible. And I even, uh, I used the clamps to keep it up so I could get it right where I wanted it basically so I could drill these four holes as good as possible so let's uh let's try to put the returns in and see how it looks Well, this is it. This is the background. And I said well, I wasn't going to, but I decided to clean this front panel. I was sick of looking at it through a dirty panel. And the panel's actually in pretty good shape, so I'm happy about that. This got a lot of really, really fine scratches, but nothing deep. So uh, this is going to buff out nicely. And I've said it before, I am gonna buff this, but I'm gonna leak test it and stuff before I buff it. So I will actually be draining it again, completely drying it out, and then buffing it. But I've got this background in place just with those returns and these two drains. I decided to not do anything else to it. I'm going to put rocks up against the bottom of it and I think that's all I'll need to do with it. I should be able to uh, easily rinse out anything behind it. So ideally I'd like to just keep it this way where it's not siliconed in place. It's just keeping itself up there and then some rocks to help keep it in place. I went back and forth about my returns and my drains and I'm probably gonna stick with the same thing. So all four of those returns will be for this Ultima and then those two drains will be for this Ultima. I just have to decide how I wanna do my drain returns to this tank and how I wanna do, I gotta do a drain to the sink and I gotta do returns from this tank all the way to here. So. There's still a lot of plumbing to do. I still have to do these bottom holes, which I think I'm just going to cap with with bulkheads rather than silicone or rather than weld in another huge piece of acrylic. Or I'm gonna see if I can get an acrylic company to cut my squares down for me so they're smaller, because that's just way bigger than I need to do. Smaller squares or even circles, if they can cut them into circles, that would be great. And then I'll put those over it. And I'm gonna do a little one over this, which was a small drill hole from the previous owner. So tons of holes, it's ridiculous I know, but the tank is still gonna go to good purpose. It's still 600 gallons, so it's gonna be pretty sweet when it's set up. I'm trying to make the best of the plumbing, but I'm really excited about it even though there is a lot of holes in it. I think it's gonna be a beautiful tank anyway. And that is pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope that uh, you'll learn something if this is uh, the type of like background that you're interested in getting for yourself or uh, whatever it is, maybe this will uh, convince you to go buy one, maybe this will convince you to not buy one of these and maybe spend a little bit more money, get something a little nicer, uh, whatever it may be, I hope that it helped you out. And again, I thank you as always for watching, I ask you to please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram at Off the Deep End Aquatics. And I will see you guys in that next video. Thanks.